Hello and welcome to my Taurus Club members. Welcome, welcome, welcome. As you can see, the three cards that we drew in the main reading we have on screen here. And I have also added another tarot deck and another oracle deck for you as well. So when we looked at our three, just to do a quick recap, Taurus, when we looked at the three cards, it was clear that there was a decision that needed to be made. Okay, so that was the, the, the two of wands. That was the first one that came through, saying to you that you've got quite a big decision to make. And You've been pondering and thinking, and it's it's often when this card comes up, it's often a decision of do I stay as I am currently or do I move on to bigger adventures, better adventures, or other opportunities? Okay, so it's a do I stay or do I go kind of decision. Here we have the Three of Cups, which is the celebration card, and the Three of Cups is saying celebration, joy, happiness. It means that whatever decision you make is going to be a good one for you. It's going to be one that's going to sit well for you and bring you happiness and joy in your life. And then we, the oracle card we drew was the lion. And the message from the lion is to be balanced with your responsibility. So what we were saying there is that, you know, the decision that you make, we need to bring our heart space into it. We need to bring our soul into it. We need to do what brings us joy while factoring in our responsibilities, but not allowing the responsibilities to weigh too heavily on the decision. We need to factor them, sure, but we need to be balanced and bring our happiness, our joy, and our heart space into it as well. So that, that in itself is quite a good message, but let's now have a look and see. So with regards to this decision, what else does Spirit need you to know? Let's draw. We get the Eight of Cups. Oh, wow. Okay. So Taurus, it looks like the decision has been made for you. Okay. It looks like the decision has been made for you because here it is, do I stay or do I go? And the Eight of Cups is leaving. The Eight of Cups is turning your back on your situation, circumstance, your your problems, your challenges, turning your back on that and leaving. So there we have these eight cups. They were all stacked perfectly fine. And they were probably quite happily stacked, if I can put that way. And this cup is like, actually, I don't want to be a part of that anymore. I want to break free. I want to venture away. And he has broken away from the pack. Okay? So I think this is telling you that the decision has been made that you need to move on. Whatever the Whatever's pondering you, whatever's sitting on your mind, whatever's weighing heavily on you at the moment, I honestly think this Eight of Cups with this decision card is telling you that it's time to start moving towards breaking away, stepping out on your own, and moving on to other adventures. Remember, it's going to be good. It's going to be great. Okay? We're not taking risks here. We're not being silly here. We're not, um, you know, just uh, uh, um, being spiteful, if I can put it that way. You know, this is something that you've been pondering for quite some time. This is something that you've been thinking about for quite some time. And clearly, there's an opportunity. Clearly something has happened or a ship has come in, something has arrived that can help you change your circumstances. And this is Spirit's confirmation that it's time to change your circumstances. Let's have a look and see about the celebration. What else does Spirit need us to know? Okay, Seven of Swords. Very interesting. I did not expect to see the Seven of Swords because Seven of Swords is the card of taking advantage of situations as they present themselves. But I suppose... Taking advantage of opportunities as they present themselves to bring you joy. Yeah, okay, all right, I get it, I get it. So the Seven of Swords is saying, you know what, you're not going to have time to ponder, to think, and to strategize. You're going to have to keep your eyes open for an opportunity. Keep your eyes open for an offer. Keep your eyes open for a something. And when it presents itself, like boom, take it and run with it. No overthinking it. No like, okay, well, let me sleep on it. Basically, this is telling you, you've been sleeping on it for too long already. All right. So when the opportunity presents itself, you must literally just go for it. You must literally just jump in and go for it and not over, not worry about it. All right. Not worry about it. OK, so Taurus, now here we have the um, Spirit Animal Oracle by Colette Baron reed And let's see what Spirit Animal is working with you. I know we really have an, a lion energy there as well, which brings strength to the situation and courage and all of those kind of things. But this is specifically a spirit animal. And let's see if, yeah, how it works with the lion and what it message it wants to add to this situation. Okay, so Taurus, spirit animal we have is starfish. Okay, and it says, be open to infinite possibilities. Because isn't that what a starfish is all about? And starfish is open to infinite possibilities. Oh, I'm loving this, Taurus. I am absolutely loving this. So if you are open-minded, open to possibilities, balancing life with our responsibilities and not allowing 
our responsibilities to overwhelm us or to be too strong. And if we are looking out for opportunities and ready to leave the difficult life behind you, and you're willing to to move on a, on a moment's notice, happiness, joy, and success is going to be. All right, Taurus, it certainly looks like you're in for a fabulous weekend. Have a great one. I want to say good luck, but I don't think you need it because if I look at this, I really don't. Have an awesome week, Taurus, with love and blessings from my heart to yours.